Hi everyone, it's Amelie and Boss. <laughs> so he might be a bit of a disturbance during this video. Um, if you want, I could show you all the outtakes that I've had so far. Um, so hopefully now being the 10th time I make this attempt, it's going to be, he's going to be a little bit more calm. So today's video, I'm going to be showing the plank on your knees. Uh, the request of, I'm sorry, I forget who asked me, but I know she was having problems with her feet or had feet issues, so couldn't do the plank on her feet. Um, so I'll be showing on the knees. And now for those of you that are doing the full, the fully extended planks, do not use the knees as an excuse to not try to do the fully extended plank. At least hold out on the plank for as long as you can. And then instead of giving up, giving up uh, when you can't hold it any longer, go down onto your knees. Um, I'll also be showing you variations of the side plank, uh, variations being um, on your hand and on your forearm, as well as using your knee or um, fully extended onto your feet. Now, uh, for the knee plank, what you will have to do is fully extend. Um, I have a feeling boss is going to be in the way for this, but fully extend. So this is not a plank. Obviously, what you want is get the ball for the dog. What you want is extend to extend your legs and simply go down on your knees. Now you can keep your feet flat on the ground or raise them up as long as you are in a the somewhat diagonal line from your knees to your shoulders. Do not bring your butt up. Do not slouch down. Simply hold the position for as long as you can. Next, the side planks. What you want to do is have, hi boss, is um, maintain a straight line between your elbow and your shoulder if you're doing it on your forearm, or between your hand and your shoulder if you're doing it on your hands. So, just to show you that part of the, the plank, on your elbow, and up you go. My shoulder and my elbow are in line. Keep your hips raised. Don't droop because you're basically going to land on the ground. Next is on your hand. So make sure your hand and your shoulder are in line. Go up. Go up. And if you can't do it like this on your feet, bring one knee down and make sure <laughs> Exactly what you guys need to see is where he lies down. Right, let's go over there. Let's go. So what you want to make sure is that your knee isn't too far forward nor too far back. You want it to be in line with your hand, just to give you an idea. Too far forward is basically going to make things a lot easier and it's also not going to give you proper alignment. Your hips are going to twist and you're most likely going to be going too far forward or you're going to be overcompensating and throwing yourself too far back. So those are the variations of plank. So now that we're heading close to the three minute time mark, um, hi boss, yes, um, three minute mark, you can go basically fully extended uh, facing down. You can go on your side, on the right side, on the left side, hold it for about 30 seconds on each side and then alternate. So let's say if we're doing, you can do 30 seconds front and then go on to your right side for 30 seconds, left side for 30 seconds, front again for 30 seconds, and then there's uh, two minutes right there. And depending how much more you can do, or you can hold it out for more than 30 seconds. All right. And also, I'm going to come closer to the camera now. Hi, boss. Also, um, for next month's challenge, I was thinking of doing a push-up challenge. Now I'm not going to do one of those pre-made uh, challenges that you can find on Google because the plank one was a little bit hard. I'll admit that that they basically I thought it was going to I thought we were going to have an easier time with it and uh, apparently I was mistaken. It's one thing to see it on paper. It's another to do. Um, so that's why I'm modifying it for the last few days um, for the push-up challenge. I'll be creating the, the workout plan. And I was thinking of doing basically two levels. A beginner for those that have a hard time doing fully extended push-ups, that means on your toes and not on your knees, and those that can do them and just want a bit more of a challenge. So let me know what you think about the push-up challenge for next month, 30 days of push-ups. The planks would really have helped with that. Seeing as we're already in position, then it's just a matter of basically 
maybe pushing ourselves up. So let me know. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Happy planking. Bye-bye, guys.